Madden Football is the home of the Super Bowl. And this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Chiefs and the reigning Super Bowl champs coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy, as it'll be the AFC champion, Kansas City Chiefs, taking on the NFC champions. Brandon Gordon along with Charles Davis, and what a season it's been for our AFC champions. I mean, this was a fight just to get to the Super Bowl. You got to figure that they are very battle tested and ready. I'd agree with you 100% about that. You don't get there without having those types of attributes, and that's what you look for in a Super Bowl team character, confidence. These guys don't lack for either one of those. Now they're here. Now they're ready to win. Meanwhile, our NFC champions, they have gone through a lot to get where they are. Everybody knows their story this season. What's the key for them? Is it Still nothing, nothing here in quarter one, but an early test to check in on as we've got a third down situation looming. On third down, Wilson. That ball nearly intercepted. And this one is right down the middle. And the Seahawks grab a 3-0 lead. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal. Time to take you back into the ball game. It's a red zone alert as this defense faces a first and 10 in the final minute of the opening quarter. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Another pass into the reliable hands of Kelsey. And the Chiefs are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. Edwards Alaire. And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. With a first... So here's the situation upcoming. Second quarter, third down, and this defense just trying to force the field goal attempt. On third down, it's Carson. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. down Carson and able to get him down but he does reach the five 11 more on that one and another first down this is Carson and he is in for the Seattle touchdown Chris Carson a five-yard touchdown run and the Seahawks are going to retake the lead and he was excellent on that drive. He deserved to be the one to get across the chart. Oh, I agree with you. Russell Wilson and company in the red zone as we'll jump in to see what the Seahawks can do here. They'll run on first down. It's Carson. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. They run it with Carson. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. This drive is turning into an extended one. And, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more of a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up. End zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. Chris Carson, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. Well, we know he can run the ball. There he shows he has the ability to do a little bit more. That's what you call a complete player, a guy who can run. <laughs> 
So here's the situation. They forced the fumble, got the football, and now they have it in the red zone, first and 10. Following the fumble recovery, it's Wilson. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Here's Wilson. And this will be caught by Metcalf for a Seahawk touchdown. Russell Wilson with two first half touchdown passes. And the Seahawks are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening. But they found the opening and exploited it. A red zone situation forthcoming as this defense will need to step up here. First and 10, ball at the 19. On first down, Mahomes. Caught, Kelsey, left side. And the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. It's been all passing all the time on this drive. Five for five, and now first and goal. Feels like a case of until they stop us, we might as well keep running the offense that we like to run. Don't change up and do something different. Just be And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. here neck and neck tie game third quarter third down can this defense get the stop from the gun on third down Wilson toward the sideline did he keep the feet in yes he got them both down says the side judge and that's good enough for a first down a really good pickup of 28 yards. Time to give some credit to the big fellas, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. the red zone now here's Wilson on first down looking in zone but it's incomplete and those two just haven't been in sync thus far they've done a nice job against him but still with his talent you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game to throw again is Wilson and he finds Lockett in the end zone touchdown Seattle Wilson, three touchdown passes now. And the Seahawks are going to take the lead. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic, but usually what it means is that rather than just winning with... So a big third down coming up here for the defense, trying to preserve a very slim lead in the third quarter. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. Okay, now the field goal unit out on the field as they look to extend this third quarter lead. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So give him three. A touchdown and an extra point would tie this game late. What can this defense do now that their opponents are in the red zone? Mahomes now on first down. Throw right side going to be caught by Hardman. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Well, that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, who can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down the 8-yard line. 
It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now Luna. To throw, it's Mahomes. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Quadre Diggs. And he'll go down inside the 15 at his own 13-yard line. I'm not sure, Brandon, we've seen a sloppier played game this year for a team on offense. Turn it over four times. This offense has been lighting the scoreboard up. Now the question, can they add to their lead? We drop you in a red zone situation in the second half. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by Ron Thornhill. A touchdown and an extra point would tie this game late. What can this defense do now that their opponents are in the red zone? On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. Here's second and ten. Miko Hardman, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. Now here's Mahomes. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Hill. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do in that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense is pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame whooping has turned into results. So an interesting call there to take the three, I and mean, I guess they're thinking that they're... We drop you back into the action in a one-score game. This defense needs to get a stop. They need to get the ball back to their offense and get down and score. Meanwhile, Mahomes' throw caught by his receiver, Hill. And he's got a first down following a pickup of about 13 as we will take a pause here for the two-minute warning. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and 10, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Mahomes' throw here complete to Kelsey. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 154 left, as they call it a timeout defensively. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. They'll run with Edward Jalair. And they get him down at the 1. He had the broken tackle, but ultimately could not get into the end zone. Second and goal from the one. Mahomes. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Third and goal, a big play in the Super Bowl. Here's Mahomes. To the right side, it's Kelsey. A four-yard pickup, not enough. Fourth down. Now Mahomes got to have this one. And that is incomplete, but there is a flag. And on fourth down, this is a big call. So they decline the penalty. Come on, Kelsey. They'll start out on the ground with Carson pushing his way through. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. 
They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's able to get this up just shy of the 15. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as it comes with a minute 15 left to go in the second half. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Now it's Carson. And a nice gain there as he'll be taken down just shy of the 20. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. They'll try the left side. Carson. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with a minute six left to go in the game. With a heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. Here's Carson. And this will be a Seahawks first down as he gets this up past the 30 to the 32. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game help it out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive they went three and out. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Time for this one final knee to put a bow on this title bout. I don't know why we did it, but we went to their final walkthrough for some reason. And what did we see? Their last play and walkthrough was taking a knee and celebrating winning a Super Bowl. They wanted that visualization. They did it for real. Yeah, they just scripted it out. Defense can't stop the clock. And they can watch the final seconds tick. of the NFL, Seattle wins the Super Bowl. And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion. It's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy that didn't have their share of bumps along the way, didn't have to face some adversity in the journey, and now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all offseason, they'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it.